Okay, so you bought a brand new hard drive for your laptop, but you don't want to go through the process of installing the operating system and again installing all the different applications, drivers, and copying all of your files onto your brand new hard drive from your old hard drive. So, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, clone the contents of your old hard drive onto a new hard drive. And by the way, I'll be using a hard drive which is smaller in capacity than the one installed on my laptop. So this is a 250 gigabyte hard drive. The one installed on my laptop is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So just to demonstrate to you guys that it works either way. So if you're copying from a bigger hard drive to a smaller hard drive, it will work without any problems. Uh, as long as your use space is less than the capacity of the uh, new hard drive that you're cloning onto. Okay, for this process to work properly, you'll need a few things. First off, you'll need a USB flash drive to create a bootable media so that you can boot into the recovery software once you're using the new hard drive. And obviously we need an external hard drive to copy everything from the C drive including Windows itself and all of your programs, files and settings onto the uh, external hard drive. So first we're going to copy everything from C drive to external hard drive and then from external hard drive onto the brand new hard drive which we'll insert into the laptop in a while. So let me show you the process. Okay and the imaging software we're going to use is called Macrium Reflect. Uh, it's free for non-commercial use and if you're going to use it for commercial purposes it's not free. So go ahead download it and install it. I've already have it installed launch the software okay so first off we're going to create a bootable media so go to other tasks create rescue media and just leave all of the options as default click next again select uh, okay so leave this as default again and click next and it wants to download some 289 megabytes from Microsoft just let it download and now we wait until the download is finished okay so the downloading has finished and make sure you select the USB device I have plugged in a Sony pen drive so Sony storage media and I'm gonna click finish and now it's gonna copy all the required files onto the USB drive okay so once the bootable USB drive has been created I suggest you unplug it and keep it aside then move on to the software okay so you'll be greeted with this screen let me just restart the software again okay now make sure both of these boxes are checked and that you have plugged in your external hard drive and your external hard drive should show over here uh, make sure you check the letter mine is F so now we're gonna tap on image this disk again make sure that these two boxes are checked select image this disk and make sure that your folder is selected F your F corresponds to your external hard drive so just leave everything as default click next again click next you don't need to change the default settings and then again click OK and this will take a while I'm gonna put the camera here and zoom on to the screen Okay guys, you can see the imaging has completed successfully. Just gonna close this. And just for sake of it, verify that the image file is present on your external hard drive. Here is the image file. 
Okay, so now we're going to shut the computer down and we're going to remove the old hard drive and put in the new hard drive. So let's do that. Make sure you unplug the power, unplug the external hard drive, and keep it aside. Let me just readjust the camera here. So guys, depending on your laptop, whether or not it has a maintenance hatch like this, you might need to open your laptop significantly to access the hard drive. And especially on the newer Hewlett Packard laptops, you even need to remove the keyboard to get to the hard drive. Uh, so on those computers, you'll need to remove the keyboard, then remove the inner shell, then again remove the motherboard just to get to the hard drive. So not a good design I really like the design of these Acer old Acer laptops where they have this maintenance hatch so you can uh, work with the components much easily here we are here is the hard drive gently remove it from its socket and then we're going to remove this bracket and install it on this 250 gigabytes hard drive. Let's do that. So here we are goes in like this sorry guys if this camera isn't really able to focus properly I don't really have a macro lens here What I'm doing here is just screwing in the hard drive retention bracket. And then I'm just going to put the hard drive in. Then close the maintenance hatch. Okay, so now all of these screws are in place, we are going to flip the laptop over. Okay, so now all of these screws are in place, we are going to flip the computer over. There we go. Plug the power back in. Plug in the external hard drive. Also, plug in the rescue media okay so before I plug in the rescue media let me show okay so once I turn this on you'll see that the laptop will not boot up into the operating system because the hard drive is completely blank wait for it to post and there we go no bootable device and let me just enter the BIOS Now I don't think you'll need to change this setting on newer computers but on this I had to. So plug in your USB drive, head over to the BIOS setup and make sure that your boot priority is somewhat like this. 
So first off, uh, we'll need to boot into the rescue media. So I've selected the USB USB drive as the first boot priority, then second one as my internal hard drive. So we're going to save this, exit saving saving changes, and then we're going to boot into the reflect software automatically. And there we go. And yeah, please make sure that your external hard drive is plugged in during the whole process. Wait for the reflect software to initialize. Okay, so once we are booted up into the Reflect software from our recovery drive, you'll be greeted with this screen. Now don't panic, it's pretty simple. Click on Browse for an image file. Uh, select this PC. Uh, make sure you go to the uh, external hard drive. Here my hard drive name is Elements, so double click here. Click on the recovery image. Recovery image will sort of have this icon, so whatever you have named it, just click on double click on this and it should show up automatically here. So click on this restore image, select a disk to restore to, select the 256 250 gigabyte disk, just zoom and show it to you guys. And yeah, Hitachi hard drive, 232GB. And make sure, again, make sure that these two boxes are checked. Then click on next. And tap on finish. And yeah, you can see the last partition has been shrunk to fit because we are imaging onto a smaller drive than it was, you know. The previous drive was bigger than what we are copying it on. Then click on finish and the restoration process will begin. And again, this process takes a bit of time because yeah, we're copying a lot of data from the external hard drive onto the internal drive. So we're gonna wait. Okay, so the restore has been completed and it took around 31 minutes and 11 seconds. Anyway, so now I'm gonna quit this software. Select close. And before I reboot this thing, I'm gonna unplug the. Okay, just hold on. Okay, so before I boot into the operating system here. I have removed the USB drive, the USB recovery drive and I also removed the USB hard drive. So let's begin. See if it boots or not. Whoa hey there we go. Alright guys, as you can see here, Windows has successfully booted up and this is the exact same operating system with the exact same programs that I was using with this hard drive, this 500 gigabyte hard drive. So it successfully copied everything, everything including all the partitions, including Windows, 
and every program that was on here including files and folders onto the 256 gigabyte hard drive which I have put it put it into this laptop sorry about my English though guys it's very late I want to sleep so let me just show you that it is indeed a 256 gigabyte hard drive and yeah you won't need to activate windows or even office Yeah, it's a bit slow properties and you guys can see yeah we've got 232 gigabytes of total storage that is the correct amount of storage for a 250 gigabyte hard drive and let me show you the activation status you can see windows is activated you won't need to reactivate your windows if you swap out the hard drive and clone it back Windows 10 Pro. So guys, thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you all later.